Hey guys, and welcome to another quick tutorial. Uh, today we're using Ubuntu 15.04, and I'm going to show you how to create a swap file. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is just shell into the server here, and then we can just crack on by creating a. Uh, let's create a four gig file. So we do sudo f allocate uh, dash l, which is for the length four gig. So if you want to do a large one, you can do that here. Forward slash swap file, and that's going to go ahead and uh, create it. You should be able to see. So if I do uh, lh dash um, la uh, ls lh swap file, it should show us the directory that we've reserved, and you can see that we've uh, reserved four gig here. So the next thing that we need to do is um, enable this. So the first thing we need to do is change the uh, permissions. Um, so we're going to do that via sudo chmod um, 600 swap file. Um, and then we can uh, just check that it's got the correct permissions by using the same command that we did previously, which is um, LH, uh, lslh swap file. And we can see now um, is that uh, only root has read write and nothing else has any permissions. Um, now that we know it's more secure, uh, we need to actually set up the, to, the system to use this as a swap file. So we can use sudo uh, mkswap slash swap file. And um, now we know that it's uh, ready to use, we can enable it. Uh, so again, we need to type in sudo swap on, and then our file again, so forward slash swap file. And uh, now it's been on. If you want to check now that it's on, you can use the command um, swap on slash dash s even. And uh, you can see that it's, that it's on there. And um, typing free, um, we can also see at the bottom here, that we have a total of four gig in our swap file that's free. Um, that will create it for you, uh, but it's not going to make it permanent. So what we could do is we can head over to um, our fstab file and um, ensure that this is enabled for every time we log in. So uh, if we go to sudo nano etc fstab, and um, what we can see at the bottom here um, is uh, a drive that we've already attached. So at the bottom we need to add another one, which is forward slash swap file, um, tab across, none, tab swap, tab sw, tab zero, um, and then tab zero again. And um, we can close that and save, making sure that we did that as, uh, as root. And uh, that's all there is to it. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you want some more, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, please comment below. Thank you.